Gracias, Pedia. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make a player hover, hover highlight. Um, now, you guys are probably wondering why or how could we use this. Um, I'm going to show you guys. If you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll turn on post notifications. It means so much to me. We're almost at 58,000 subscribers, you guys, which is just amazing. Um, thank you very much again. But yeah, so we're going to head into the description. Uh, once you guys go into the description, you're going to grab the link. They will be below. And you're going to grab this uh, model right here that I made it's called Player Hover Highlight. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to use this. And so you can just hit download, try in studio, whatever's easier for you. Um, it's going to be under my toolbox, inventory, my models. It should be right here for you. Um, you're going to import it and you're going to put it straight into Starter GUI. Now, um, this is a script, super simple. Um, ChatGPT made it. <laughs> um, I had to test it a few times. ChatGPT didn't get it right, but um, yeah. And also, I you know I wanted to see what which which way I could do this best. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh, I'll just run through it real quick. We have a few local variables grabbing the players, local players, mouse, run service. Um, we created a highlighted char character uh, variable. Um, so we have a local function called highlight remove. This is going to remove the highlight um, just in case um, we need to remove it after they leave or, you know, they're not hovering it no more or they die, let's say. Um, now function apply highlight to a character. Um, basically, we are going to check if the it is gonna, if it is a character, return end. Um, but we are going to remove the highlight, of course, um, from the previous time because we don't want to have to. Um, we're going to create it right here. There is an outline color and fill color. So if you want to mess with that, you can actually change that to your liking. I'll show you what I mean. Um, and then we have a render step. This is going to do the run service. So basically, target is the mouse.target. So wherever your mouse is, um, yes, you guys, this doesn't really work with mobile. Um, it kind of does, but not really. It's a little different. Um, but yeah, if target, uh, this is going to be the function right here for you. If target, we're going to grab the character, which is going to be target, find first ancestor of class. It's just going to be the model. Um, if character and character find first child of class is a humanoid. So if we find that it is a humanoid, but of course we're going to be looking in the model because it's player is a model. Um, we're going to get players, uh, player, yes, players get player from characters. Um, and we're going to give that highlight and then we are going to remove it. Um, if not a player, um, not a valid character, remove highlight. Mouse is not over a character, remove highlight. Now, um, yeah, so basically, let's, I'm going to test this and just kind of show this to you guys, um, but this is kind of like up to your own self, like how you want to use this. Um, it really just depends. Yeah, so I'm just testing right now with two people, but as you can tell, as I highlight over him, it's going to do this for you. Um, now, I think if I'm right, let's just double check. Yeah, it's, it's just local, so, you know, server's not going to see, it's just you. Um, the outline color, as you can tell, is that white. Um, the fill color is going to be that inside. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so see how this is, yeah, this is getting a player. So as you can tell, um, this is highlighting a real player. Now you're probably wondering, oh shoot, how do I do it if it's going to be the NPCs? Let's say you want to make it for the Avatar game. I'm going to show you guys in a sec. But yeah, so I mean, it, it's really up to you what you want to use this for. Um, you could add a click detector into the people and um, you could use that as a way of know if you want to do a way of like clicking on them and it gives you a little ui that talks about their outfit or maybe something else um i don't really know exactly what you could use this highlight for it was just something i wanted to give to you guys there's a lots of things though you can do like i said if you mainly though i would recommend doing something where it's like a uh, um, clicking detector so you know you're, you're looking at them you're going to hover over them and click at them and maybe you teleport to them or something like that there's a lot of use cases for it but um, yeah, so yeah, if you want to use this to make sure that um, it's not, uh, you know, not a thing, um, like, sorry, if it's not a player, you're going to just remove this if statement. So you're actually would probably just actually do this. Sorry, you're just going to go like this and um, basically just like this. And then if it's not a character, then a humanoid, whatever, um, you're going to uh, just yeah, you're gonna. Sorry, if it is a, if it is a model and it has a humanoid in it, it's gonna do this for you. And then if it doesn't, then it's gonna remove it. And then mouse is not over character; it's gonna remove the highlight either way. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of if you want to just use it on like the avatar outfit game. That's actually another thing you can do. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's a way to like do transparency of highlights. But yeah, like I said, there's the outline and the fill color. So mess with that, you guys. Um, something kind of simple. I have a few more highlight tutorials I actually want to do. So you'll stay tuned. You'll see those in a bit here. 
Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one.